I cannot sleep, my mind is restless, and so I figured I am just going to share a few things, get it off of my mind and my brain, and hopefully I can rest. My, I've been through, I think, six different time changes, sound changes, in the last week, and so my body is spasming really bad tonight, and I cannot rest, even with a muscle relaxer, and, um, there were some things I was thinking about my surgery because it happens a lot at night. When, especially on the hard nights, when you can't sleep and your body just hurts. And I was thinking about one specific instance before my surgery and that I've shared with some people, but not a ton. And I just need to get it out. So, before my surgery, I did not want to have it. I was terrified. Like, it's literally, I, like, my body almost knew something was going to happen. I had tried, um, before the surgery option, multiple, um, holistic options and, um, went through multiple things. Nothing worked. Tried something. It worked a lot, but not in its entirety. And, um, the fall before my surgery in 2019, um, my husband and I said, or my husband's like, you need to get this checked out again. And they recommended me for the hysterectomy. As the surgery got scheduled and in January, um, I was very, very anxious. It was consuming me. I did not want the surgery at all. I would have like really bad anxiety, like almost a panic attack, like a month leading up to my surgery. Um, I asked, I begged Dustin, like, please let me cancel. And he's like, what you are going through affects us every single month. Um, it's affecting your health. You can't function. This is necessary. And so I'm like, okay, I'm going to ask my mom. <laughs> so I go to my mom. She said it's pretty much the exact same thing, Sarah. You've struggled with this so long. You need to go. You need to have this done. I go to my best friend and she is asking me, why? Why are you so scared? Why, why are you so anxious? She even asked me like, hey, do you think you don't, you're not going to be, feel like a woman because like you can't childbear anymore. And, and I told her, I said, I don't think that was it. I could not figure out why I was so scared and actually my stomach right now feels like that right now as I'm like thinking about it. I'm like just sick to my stomach. One of my other good friends, like she knew how anxious I was and she prayed with me that Friday beforehand. And um, the morning, um, Tuesday morning, that was Tuesday, the day of my surgery, um, I prayed again. And this time it was different. I had a sense of peace. Um, I, I, I clearly remember hearing what needs to be done, needs to be done. That was it. And I was completely at peace. My girlfriend that prayed with me the Friday before, she's like, how you doing? I'm like, actually, I'm doing great. <laughs> I'm completely fine. Um, my uh, best friend that I mentioned, she is a CRNA and because she's amazing, um, she couldn't be at that hospital, but she sent um, a friend that she knew that was working there to check on me. And she texted me a little bit later. She's like, what's going on? I'm like, I'm fine. She goes, I know. That's what I want to know what's going on. You are so anxious. And my friend that checked on you says that you are, I'm either a really good actress or um, I'm fine. And I'm like, yeah, I'm literally, I'm fine. I have a sense of peace. I'm good. Um, during the pre, uh, like in the pre, like pre-surgery room, there was two, bo two boxes on the wall. One was a red button, one was a blue button. I thought I knew what the blue button was. Had no idea what the red but button was. They had a little clear cases over it. And for whatever reason, I prayed over those cases, I, or those buttons. I prayed um, that I hope it wasn't pushed that day. I prayed um, for the doctors and nurses attending, if it did get pushed, for them to be directed in the right way. 
I remember praying over it. I did not know that blue button was going to be pushed for me. And as I'm sitting here tonight, almost a year and a half later, in pain, and I can't sleep, and my legs are literally spasming right now, and the twitches all over my body, I remember the way I felt before my surgery, and that fear, and that anxiousness, were all lies. They were lies that I was letting my brain to feed off of. I knew something was up. I have a high intuition. But to me it was Satan. He was trying to steal my purpose. And thank you to my sister-in-law who pointed that out afterwards. That God has something pretty big planned and he was trying to put a stop to. <sighs> the fear and the anxiousness and the worry and the feeling of being a failure, the failure, the feeling of being unworthy, the feeling of not feeling like you're enough. Like, those are all lies. The anxiousness, the fear, the, the panic attacks that I was feeling, that was all a lie. It was a distraction. Um, that I was getting myself into, and I'm so thankful for my husband and for my mom to tell me, to keep me aligned, to say, no, you need to do this. Like, there needs to be people in your life that needs, that needs to tell you the hard things, not what you want to hear, but what you need to hear. And I'm so thankful for that. And I'm so thankful for prayer warriors who was praying before, during, after, and who are praying for me now, even when I don't even know it. So, what I want to end this with is like, you are loved. Anything that you are thinking right now, that you're not enough of something, or you didn't do something, or you're recapping it, something that you might have done wrong, or how somebody perceives you, if you are laying in bed wondering what you did wrong today and how you can be better tomorrow, I want, I pray that you reject those negative emotions, those negative thoughts, that those are lies, and that you are beautiful and you are strong and you are worthy and you are enough and <sighs> that felt good <laughs> big breath right <laughs> the lies that you might be telling yourself today may keep you from your impact tomorrow you have a choice to believe the lie or believe the truth or find the truth. There we go. Hopefully I can go to sleep after this.